since being recognized in 1981, HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, and the resulting disease AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, had become one of the biggest global infectious disease threats we face, with over 75 million infections. While prevention of transmission, which is most frequently spread via sexual intercourse, from mother to child, and by sharing needles, is one of the greatest goals of HIV care. Another goal is to tackle the stigma of this disease, to encourage testing and dialogue, among partners and with healthcare providers. HIV infections often cause acute symptoms, lasting for a few weeks after infection. These resolve and usually lead to an asymptomatic phase, lasting to seven years. HIV infects specific cells of the immune system, and as disease progresses the symptoms of AIDS appear through different types of local and systemic infections. HIV is almost universally fatal without treatment. However, various types of medications have reduced HIV to a chronic disease in many circumstances. The world continues to improve access to HIV medications, particularly for those in resource-poor areas who need them most. Transmission and Infection HIV may be transmitted in various ways but is mainly spread through sexual activity or intravenous drug use. Sexual transmission rates are low, approximately 0.3% per contact, but this can be increased by increased viral load, cervical ectopia, oral contraceptive use, pregnancy, intact foreskin in men and genital ulcers. Parenteral transmission is the most effective, with rates approaching 90%. Congenital infection, either before, during or after birth, occurs on average in 20-30% of babies born to HIV plus V mothers. Transplacental transmission is the most common mode of infection. HIV can also be an occupational hazard, needle stick incidents carry with them a risk of 0.2%. Predominant modes of infection vary across region. Various high-risk behaviors are more common in various parts of the world. Although epidemics do extend into the general population, they remain highly concentrated around certain groups. Treatment in HIV AIDS depends on healthy living, reducing the risk of acquiring further infections, prophylaxis of opportunistic infections, and antiretroviral therapy ART. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video thumbs up. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.